Sparky says he's tea house. Konnichiwa minasan, it's Gray from Wakazashi's Tea House over in Japan. How you doing? Are you good? Are you genki? I'm good, thanks. Okay, we have the latest issue of Batman. It's issue 126, written by Chip Zdarsky with killer art by Jorge Jimenez. This came out today. It's um, Tuesday, August the 2nd, 2022, and it's priced at 4 99 Now, there is a backup story in this, a Catwoman story, also written by Chip Zdarsky. So, the question is... Is this issue any good? Is it worth buying? Mate, this is a great issue. This is an action-packed issue. The fight scenes in this issue, like, blew my mind. I was pulled in. I was flying through it. I've read it twice. I read it again straight after. Seriously, it's great. There's, like, it's almost, I think it's a 14-page action scene. It just goes on and on. And we get to see the extended Bat family coming in. Not only Robin, we get to see Cassandra Kane, um, Stephanie Brown's in here. We've got Nightwing. We've got um, The Signal. It's so good. So yeah, it's a huge recommend. Um, let me show you some of the interior art by Jorge Jimenez. Look at this. This is one of the early images, the early panels. How atmospheric, how like dark and moody is this image and how beautiful is it? Look at the use of shadow and the perspective. So yeah, great to see a really good, dark, grim looking Batman. But I'm enjoying Chip Zdarsky's take on the character. I like the way he's writing it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really good. And I say, it felt like there were real stakes in this issue for me. That was one of the things I thought. It's like, Batman, Batman is getting pummeled here. You know, he's in real danger. He's in real peril. You've got that feeling. But also the way that they, like, wrote it, the way that it progressed. You know, not, not just the um, action scenes, the, the panels. The use of dialogue was very good. It's not too much. It's not overly wordy like you see in a lot of comics these days. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Huge recommend. I would go out and get this. The backup story is, is not bad. It's okay. It's got a different kind of take and different artist, but same writer. And I'm, I'm enjoying that. This is quite interesting. You'll see some very interesting characters, shall we say, in the backup story. So please keep watching. I'll give my story summary. Here we go. The issue opens with a view of the extended Bat family all costuming up. We see from the top Duke Thomas, Signal, Barbara Gordon, Oracle, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl or Orphan, Nightwing, Dick Grayson, Stephanie Brown, Spoiler and Tim Drake Robin. At the bottom panel we see Robin outside and we hear a voice, Robin. And on the next page we get this stunning image of Batman. Look at the perspective, the angle. Look at the use of shadow by Jorge Jimenez. It's a gorgeous shot here, a gorgeous image. Batman's asking Robin, what are you doing? He shouldn't be out. You know, he's just got out of hospital. He's recovering from a neck injury. But Robin's saying, you're not in charge of me. I don't even wear a bat. And he's gone. Then we see Bruce back at his temporary hideout, his brownstone kind of bat cave. He's talking about his failed relationships. He's worried about the team, worried about the Bat family, saying they deserve love and happiness. The problem is, this job, this life doesn't allow for it. But then, something behind him, wait, something's wrong! Brack! He just dodges a bone-breaking looking punch from a robot. A robot with a weird kind of Bat-styled helmet or face. Fast is too fast, crack! Batman tries to punch back, it blocks his punch easily, knocks him flying again. He's looking worried. I'm dead if I stay here. He calls his car. Exit. Vroom. Then we get a great little image here of the Bat car, the Batmobile at the top. Batman fires a grappling hook to it, attaches it, and it drags him off quick. Hold on. He throws a couple of explosive batarangs. Boom. Will that be enough to stop the robot? The car pulls out onto the streets, buying Batman a bit of time. He gets a call from Oracle. Batman, damn it, your vitals. I'll live, Oracle. But then we see the robot bursting out of the garage. It's a new enemy, a robotic one. I'll keep it busy. He throws some more explosive batarangs, but the robot launches some mini missiles and takes them all out with ease. Smash! Batman gets hit in the stomach. Batman, talk to me, your vitals! He fires a desperate grappling hook, hoping to get away, but the robot grabs his cape. <sighs> then the look there on Batman's face, look at that in the panel on the right. He looks worried. Down, he's down again. I can't. Don't let it end like this. Who are you? Then we hear the voice. Justice. Fail safe. Then just before the robot can launch its deadly killing blow, Signal comes screaming in on his motorbike, takes a jump off it and knocks the robot over. Then we see Cassandra Kane and Spoiler. We hear Batman's thoughts. He's worried. No. 
No, Stephanie Duke. Cassandra, this is too much. You'll kill them too. The robot, failsafe, approaches Batman. Signal tries again, launching a flying kick at it. Get out of here, Batman. It's after you. We see Robin supporting an injured, staggering Batman to the car. He looks hurt, man. The stakes are real in this. The robot, failsafe, overhears Robin saying, meeting us down in the cave. They're going to see Leslie. Go! He's too fast! Then, on the next page, another fantastic image as we see Nightwing come roaring in on his bike. He launches off the front of the bat car, goes flying, somersaults off the motorbike, lets it hit Failsafe, and the bike explodes into fire. Wait, Failsafe seems to take off. I think we're out of our league here, says Nightwing. You think? But no, on the next page, smash! It drops down again, hits the ground, sending everyone flying. We see cars like sailing through the air in the background. Is everybody okay? Another fight ensues. Failsafe taking out Signal, knocks out Nightwing. Humans with sticks and knives. Okay, there's still a few pages to go, but I don't want to spoil the ending. I'm going to end my main story summary there. The backup story is Two Birds, One Throne, Part 2. Again written by Chip Zdarsky, but it's got art by Belen Ortega. We have Catwoman trying to track down the Penguin's supposed children. Completely different art style, but I like some of the images here, especially the ones of Catwoman. Good angle, again, good use of shadow, very dark, very um, atmospheric. She's tracking one down, but in the apartment, somebody's already there, somebody big. Again, another great image here. Look at the top panel. Catwoman grabs him with a whip from behind. Crash! Help! Attacked! Guys are down, send help! So the backup story is still pretty good. It's got its own story going on. It kind of ties into what's happening in the main story. But yeah, good to see Chip Zdarsky writing both, Batman and Catwoman. Okay, let's end the story summary here. Okay, let's get on with the variant covers. These three caught my eye. The first one is by Gwilym March. This is a cardstock cover and it's $5.99, so you've got to pay a dollar more for that. Then there's a 1 in 50, I think this is, by Jock. Very simple but very striking image as usual by him. And where are we? There's one more I want to show. This is my favourite, but it's the 1 in 100. It's by Ryan Sook. Great image of Catwoman hanging on the wall there, peering through a window. Whew, look at that ass. Man. Okay, so as always, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think about the story. Are you enjoying Chip Zdarsky's run? Are you going to keep buying it? And I hope to see you in a future video. This is Grey from Wakazashi's Tea House signing off for the night. Matane. Wakazashi's Tea House. Please subscribe.